Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Today I want to do just a little reveal on the most recent items I've added to my collection or things I've bought recently. Most of them I did get over a single stay sale and some of it was Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, I didn't go too crazy on luxury items this year because I ended up spending a lot of my money just on beauty products and like Sephora and just other sales that, um, that were happening and a lot of them were just gifts and just stocking up on things that I really needed. So I'm really just going to focus on the luxury items I picked up. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. The first one is the one that you guys have already seen, which is the Chloe Woody Tote in the medium size. And I did do a video on this on my first impressions. I wanted to go ahead and get that video done first just because I thought it might be more useful for people who were interested in looking, um, looking at this bag for the holidays specifically. So I will link to that video if you missed it, but here it is, the Chloe Woody Tote, and this is the medium size. I also picked up this little pouch, and this is by Anya Heinmark. I might be butchering that, uh, but this is just a little clear pouch for travel, and it's really cute. It says, touch down over here, and then take off on this side. So it's a clear pouch, and it's double-sided, so this side is... Uh, the deeper side so hopefully I'm not really sure if you can see that but basically it goes almost to the bottom not quite um, but it's like this much space that you can fill items with and the other side is the other side is a little bit more shallow so the touchdown is a little bit more shallow and oh there's a hair tie I've already used this as you can see uh, so this is a little bit more shallow and it also has this little rubber band which you could put I think like makeup brushes and other stuff like that so kind of holds them down to be a little bit more secure obviously you don't need to use this for toiletries you could also use it to kind of keep your cords organized or I don't know just anything you need on an airplane or for travel so there are two zippers and then um, they each have this cute little tassel on them which I think is adorable I really like the details on this and I especially like the black with gold zipper I think that just is really nice um, and part of the reason why I wanted to get this is because well it had been on sale and then on top of that my current pouch that I've been using is this truffle pouch and it's definitely seen better days um, I've used this a lot so I'm not too upset at the wear and tear but I thought I would just try out uh, something else and as you can see this all used to be white, but it's quite dirty now. And then the corners are just wearing like crazy. Um, this is like, I'm not really sure what this is made out of. Some sort of rubbery nylon material, but the corners are showing a ton of wear. And I just thought, you know what? It's time to upgrade. Um, so I decided to basically get this to replace this. So yeah, hopefully that works out well and ready to retire this one. I also did get the Chanel hand cream from Saks. Uh, this was not on sale. I did I did purchase this full price, but my Amex Platinum card has a $50 Saks credit, and that is twice a year, so you can use it once from January to June, and then a second $50 you can use from July to December. And I had sort of been keeping an eye on stuff at Saks that I really wanted, but you know, I just didn't really see anything that caught my eye, and I've just, I've never had this Chanel hand cream before. I've, I've also never paid $50 for a hand cream ever, which is it's kind of wild to me, but you know, because this was basically $50 and then I had the $50 credit through Saks, I basically only just paid tax for it and I figured might as well splurge um, because if you don't use the credit, you do lose it. And I know, I know I still have time. I still have like all of December to use it, but I just decided to see what the hype is about with the Chanel hand cream. And I have to say it is super, super nice. It's definitely a bit of a splurge for a hand cream, but, but I have been enjoying it so far and it definitely is a very nice little treat for your hand. So, um, will I continue to repurchase this and use it on the regular? Probably not, but you know, I, I think that it's a good option, especially with the Saks credit with the Amex platinum card. Um, if I, if I'm kind of running down to the wire and I haven't used it on anything, this is a good option to use that credit for. So there is that and I also got these sunglasses they are from Dior as you can see from the case and I did purchase these from Farfetch I think it was single stay sale I can't remember all the sales are kind of like running together in my head so let me just show you guys they are these gorgeous rounded tortoiseshell frame and they have this like gold gold frame also right here around the ears and they do have nose pieces which is really important for me hopefully the glare isn't too bad so I'm just going to show them like this because I think it's going to be very reflective but it is very circular tortoiseshell frame 
which I don't know just really gives me major vintage vibes and I love it a lot I sold my tortoiseshell glasses I had these Prada ones that I just hadn't worn in forever and I ended up selling those and um, was kind of on the hunt hunt for something kind of vintagey but uh, I didn't have anything that was really round in terms of sunglasses in my collection so when I saw these and I saw that they were on sale I thought they looked really really great so um, so yeah really happy with these ones also just loving this Dior case like look how cool it is it's like very geometric it's like a upside down rectangle right here and it says Dior here there's a little bit of velvet um, so and just add some texture but the rest of it is smooth and it's magnetic and then opens just like that and it's really nice I just like this case a lot and I have two more items to show you so I did get this and this is a Burberry cape. It's going to be kind of hard to see on camera, so I might just need to insert a photo. Um, I did get this for a matches fashion, and so here is a... Uh I haven't taken the tags off yet. On the inside is a Burberry pattern and on the outside it is black. And this does come in camel as well. It is not reversible because you know you can see the tag right here. And the reason why I haven't taken off the tags yet is because I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna keep this for myself or if I'm going to gift it to my mom. I already did get her another Christmas present. Um, so I'm kind of trying to figure out which present I should give her, if I should give her this or the other one or maybe I should just give her both. I, I do like this for myself, but I kind of think it might look better on her. So I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm st I'm going to think about it, but I think she might like it. So I think this would be a contender for her. I think she could just wear it like, on the airplane and kind of drape herself and just be like warm. We'll see. But I actually scored a great deal on this because I got it on Matches Fashion and they were doing a 30% off private sale on some designers. I think St. Laurent was included. But it was like selected items and the ones I was kind of looking at didn't really catch my eye. Burberry was included in that private sale, so I did get this for 30% off, which I think is a pretty good deal. So either way, I'll either keep it for myself or I'll give it to my mom, not sure yet. <laughs> and finally, I have the last item to show you guys, and it is something I already have. So let me just show you. I did get these Chloe Susanna boots. Um, I already have these in black, and... It's interesting. I was thinking about getting these in another color, uh, but I didn't want to pay full price for them. And there was another color I really liked, which was kind of more of a taupe color, but it sold out pretty fast and it just never came back into stock that I could see. So then I was on uh, the website Essence and I saw these and there was one last pair left in my size and these are the beige ones, but they come off really pinky on the website. So I was like, is that beige? It looks a little bit more pinkish, but I went ahead and ordered them because they were only like $900, which I think these retail, last I checked, these retail for $13.95. And I was just like, this is too good a deal to pass up, especially because I had th I had really been wanting these in another color. And I really wanted these in the lighter color because I thought they would be better for spring and summer. They do have a pinkish undertone in real life, but it's really not that bad. Like for some reason, I was kind of thinking it's possible I might not be able to match them with anything but after seeing them in real life I'm like oh I can definitely match these with almost everything in my wardrobe and so I am super super excited about these I can't believe the deal I got on them I will say for the Chloe Susanna boots these are the only designer shoes I have where I had to size down I never need to do that I almost always need to size up sometimes two sizes uh, for designer shoes and I don't know what it is about the Chloe boots and if you guys have Chloe boots too let me know what this, your sizing experience has been because I I do have like wider feet but I think these are these run longer and not wider so a long long time ago when I was looking for the black ones I tried them on in store and the 37 which is like my usual non-designer regular shoe size they were just like falling off of me and which I just thought was really weird since I, in designer shoes I'm normally 37 and a half or 38 and then I tried on the 36 and a half and they are really tight. I do have wider feet so they are tight like right here and right here but they fit long ways um, and so I figured because these are Napa leather and these are super, super soft, they will probably stretch out. And my black ones have. My black ones are like so comfortable now. So um, so yes, these are 36 and a half and I am going to take them to my cobbler to kind of just get the rubber sole on the bottom because this is like really slippery. It's a little scratched up because I've been trying to wear them around my house a little bit just to stretch them out a little bit more before I take them to the cobbler. I even think they would look really nice with this sweater and these jeans. So I don't know. I just find these boots to be incredibly versatile and I still get a lot of compliments when I just wear the black ones around too. So just really excited to have this in my collection. I think these are going to be a very, very good shoe staple. 
so yeah, that is it for the video. Uh, kind of short, but just wanted to go ahead and gather all the recent things I got and share them with you. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any questions about any of these items, definitely let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.